so here we are again masquerade another episode by popular demand well I suppose this is the finale of Craig and Maddie uh, we left it Maddie was down in Phuket working at a large cabaret as a hairdresser makeup artist um, wanting to be a dancer Craig had just arranged a four week holiday with his boss back in Ireland uh, and Maddie was working as I say doing a bit of makeup as well but she was such a good hairdresser it wasn't long literally uh, weeks before she was promoted up to the main hairdresser and she was on a really good salary I mean those shows generate a lot of money so it wasn't long she was probably on 20 30 thousand baht um, which she could earn more out in a salon probably but she was still on good money and she had just had the basic room Craig had some bad news from his boss he had the four-week holiday he hadn't booked flights and things luckily but he had the four-week holiday book the boss had so much work on and one of the other drivers had fallen sick long term and he cancelled Craig's holiday Craig couldn't do anything about it he couldn't afford to just go and move to Thailand at his stage in life didn't have the savings uh, he just had to knuckle down and do carry on working a few emails backwards and forwards to Maddie. Maddie understood um, he was just gonna have to wait a few more months this happens happens to everyone sometimes so he just carried on working as normal Maddie um, over the next few months got very friendly with another lady boy who was in the show as a dancer um, and this other lady boy was living in a really nice condo sharing with a girl another lady boy um, and that lady boy had lost the job but there was a queue for the dancing jobs so Maddie still she's just in the queue doesn't matter how seem how good she is she hasn't had a break yet she will do sure she'll get a break she moves in with this this ladyboy dancer into this really nice condo um, and it was about 8,000, 9,000 baht a month but it was subsidized I think by a foreigner as well so Maddie was just paying this other girl 3,000 baht a month and she's got an upgrade there was a swimming pool, the gym and Maddie got really friendly with this other ladyboy they really got on well. This other lady boy was not post-op, so still had the male organs. Two months, three months passed, Craig eventually gets his holiday and he gets a five week holiday. The other guy's back, another driver's been taken on and his boss is uh, really understanding and sort of you know thanks for helping me out off you go direct flight uh, he has to fly I think to down to London Heathrow and then a direct flight into Phuket um, so he emails Maddie and Maddie lets him know that she's now moved into a condo he can't stay there with her um, and she's working long hours in the afternoon and evenings She's sort of a bit negative, but anyway, off he goes, flies into Phuket. He gets himself a, a, just a cheap hotel, second road, so it's the road one in from the main beach in uh, Patong um, towards, the, towards the end. And it's only about 650 baht a night. And uh, immediately he heads off, he lands mid-afternoon, so he heads off straight away to find where the show is and go and see Maddie all excited he gives her a call and she's working but she says you know I can get you inside I'll get you a pass you can come in there's no problem because the show's not on till night time and there's no bosses really about 
they don't mind and she's quite well up now with the, doing the hairdressing she's got in there with the bosses not enough to get a dancing job and he gets to the show and he gets to where the back door is now comes Maddie and he's all over her but she's a little bit standoffish you know um, maybe doesn't like other people seeing what she's uh, she's got a foreign boyfriend anyway she does give him a cuddle and a kiss and just says to him you know come on in you don't be too vocal rather keep our business private um, I'll show you around and in they go she shows him around the stage and the show and in they go to the area the dressing rooms and the makeup rooms and there's even lady boys there trying on different outfits and they're topless they just don't care they're just changing that was a bit of an eye-opener for him suddenly seeing uh, he's just got off the plane <laughs> topless lady boys everywhere anyway he's all excited and uh, she says that she's got him tickets for the show for the night so he can sit out and watch the show free um, but she's got to work all night and she says to him she's working seven days seven nights trying to get in with the bosses trying to land this dancing job so she's trying to get merit um, plus she's living in this condo now with this other lady boy and she's working two in the afternoon through till midnight sometimes a bit later and just says to her I'm sorry you know the, my career's first it's always been first um, I'm not going to get to see you in the daytime I can see you in the morning when I get up between sort of 10 and 2 it's a bit of a blow he's got a five week holiday Patong is expensive to live but he's like what can he do um, this is just her career move at the moment he's got to accept it but he wants to stay with her he wants to sleep with her so he says well can't you come and stay at my hotel in the after you finish work and she said well no because I'm so tired I really just want to go home and sleep and uh, and not you know so that was another sort of blow to him what could he do I mean he, <laughs> he can't kick off at her she wants to stay in her condo anyway okay he accepts it she goes back to work he goes exploring Patong gets some food time at the hotel evening comes around pretty quick again he contacts and said do you want to get some food before your evening show do you go out and eat and she said well, I've already eaten the girls bring food in eating on his own again off he goes then he goes to the show and watches the show and it's a fabulous show amazing gets to go backstage must be at about 9.30 um, and see her and she she's very she's quite off with him he meets the girl she's now living with um, who's just come off stage and she introduces her and straight away he can see there's something not quite right they've got like a magical connection the way they touch each other he doesn't say anything he's just okay i will just you know and he says to her great show fabulous night all the other girls come in there and again they're all running around getting changed and she says I'm going to introduce you to a lot of the girls and she takes him round meets all the show girls and she says um, I've got to go out the front now do a bit of touch up on hair because they all go out and get photos with foreigners and things um, come on out the front so he does and there they are all the, the show girls a lot of them are out there getting photos there's this um, one Thai girl, um, not sure of her name, quite small Thai girl, very pretty, with really good English. And Maddie gets this girl, this girl's like a, she, she does all the errands for the lady boys. 
she sets up customers for the photo she, she does everything before he gets some food probably does drinks she's she's like the backstage gopher even anyway, maddie puts in with this girl and introduces him i don't know her name so let's call her x so he meets x and maddie tells x look take care of my friend doesn't say my boyfriend my friend um, and show him around at the front and see what happens and Maddie says to him then once I've done this I've got to go back in work and then I'll be heading off home later on so we'll catch up in the morning uh, I'll give you a ring when I get up and he's like okay brilliant no problem at all so X starts walking him around and showing him she's chatting she's really good English really good English um, and uh, chatting away to him she, she seems quite a quiet person I would say normally but she's chatting away to him she tells him about all the photo sessions how the girls can charge 100 200 baht for photos and this is the way they supplement their income it goes on for about an hour after every show some nights there's a couple of shows and she coordinates a lot of it lines up the customers and it sort of comes to an end and she says uh, that's it um, I'll see you again and she sort of walks off and leaves him so there he is in the car park of this big show he just can't work out what's going on with Maddie um, he suspects something the fact that the other lady boy seems so friendly maybe it's just because they're flatmates now finds himself you know it's uh, what, 10 at night in Patong only thing he can do is head back to the hotel but he does he thought I'll have a wander and get a beer somewhere and that's the second road near the hotel there's a few beer bars at the back behind a market goes and gets a few beers He's looking around, of course. He's a guy. He's looking at the girls and he's just... There's a lot of very professional girls around there and he's not interested. Sees a few lady boys, but... Um, not really full lady boys or... Just wandering and prowling around the streets. He heads back to the hotel. Next morning, gets up, goes out and gets breakfast. He's up early, he's up at about half seven, eight o'clock. There's no breakfast at this cheap hotel. He heads off down to the beach, walks along the front, just finds some breakfast at one of the uh, resorts on the front. Goes across on the beach, has a sit on the beach, um, just contemplating life. He thinks he's going to get a call about 10 from Maddie and she's living somewhere, uh, he believes, not far from his hotel, sort of halfway up the hill going over the top so he thinks he'll stay in that end near the hotel and then when she calls he can just get a bike taxi and go to wherever she's going to meet him so breakfast heads back to the hotel there is a swimming pool it's only half nine he thinks I'll have a quick swim he's got his phone there so no problem 10 o'clock comes 11 o'clock comes and he's thinking what's going on so he picks his phone up and he rings and Maddie is a little bit angry with him because he's woken her up she said I haven't woken up you know a bit angry I'll ring you in a bit puts the phone down on him so maybe she had a later night 12 o'clock comes one o'clock eventually the phone call comes quarter past one Oh, I'm sorry, I had a late night, I overslept. Um, I'm off to work now. <laughs> Come and see me later on at work, maybe four or five o'clock-ish. And puts the phone down again, and he's like, oh dear. This isn't good. The love of his life. New love of his life. What can he do? Goes out, wander around, has a beer, gets some lunch, has more beer. About three-ish, he can't wait. Three-ish, he heads up to the show gets to the back door and uh, guy's there he hasn't got a pass this time so I'm trying to explain to come see Maddie and the guy wanders off comes back out and X comes out the door 
brings X out, that girl, Thai girl. And she says, all oh, right, the show doesn't start till later and uh, Mad is doing hair. Um, let me just check with her what's happening, if she's expecting you and can you go in? Off she goes, comes back. Mad is too busy cutting hair. She can't see you. She's um, got to concentrate. But she's asked me to take care of you. She says, I want some food. Um, it's my time of the day where I can go and get some food. Let's go. <laughs> quite, quite forceful, you know. She don't want to see you. Come on. And off they go, walking on the, uh, just walking along the road a bit, and there's some Thai cafes. She takes him into a Thai restaurant, and he's not sure of all the Thai food. He's not really can't work it out. It is quite a Thai restaurant with no English menus, and she orders some food. She walks through the menu with him and uh, they get some food, you know, some chicken and cashew nuts and rice or something. Then they just get talking and X says to him, starts asking him personal questions. I mean, she did seem a shy girl, but she's talking to him a lot. Started asking, are you, have you been, you know, are you boyfriend, girlfriend? Are you Maddie's boyfriend? Or were you his boyfriend? Her boyfriend? Craig sort of. He, he just. He remembers she's told him not to tell people. And he sort of said, "No, no, we're just good friends, catching up." Um, and this ex seems to smile at that. She was interrogating him. Um, as I said before, English is great. He didn't say anything. He didn't. He didn't confirm or not confirm that uh, they were boyfriend girlfriend. Him and Maddie. That could have dropped Maddie in trouble at work, so he couldn't really say anything. They, um, these two, chatting away, and X was asking him about Ireland and about how many times he'd been to Thailand, and then she explained to him that um, he asked her a question. He started opening up a bit, and he but not about Maddie. And he started asking her some questions. She'd been really bad childhood. Uh, family had passed away when she was young. She's just ended up in Phuket. She tried working in a bar once and hated it and hated the girls and she just couldn't get on with the normal girls but she could with the lady boys. And she said she'd put herself through school to learn English and with the show and she'd landed a good job, reasonable money. Um, she never had kids. She was only about 24, 25. Um, and she just plodded on with life. She's got her own little room. She doesn't share it. Um, and she's happy, but not had a boyfriend. Had a toy boyfriend many years ago, but nobody since, since then. Finish the lunch. And uh, he says, well, I'd like to see Maddie. I want to see her today. If I don't see her now, I'm not going to get to see her because of the show tonight. Any chance we can get in? And she said, we'll see what we can do. We'll go back. Takes him back to the show, back door, stage pass. See if she can get one. Maddie's like, a bit cheesed off again. Here he is, turned up, you know. She sort of promised him the earth, and now he's turned up. She's like, sort of avoiding him. Anyway, she comes out. And she says to him, Craig, I'm sorry, I can't see you, I'm busy. It's not going to work between you and me. I've actually now getting friendly. And she admitted it, she was straight up. I, I'm My new flatmate, they're getting on, they're like girlfriend, 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 boyfriend. She said, I'm hooked up with this girl I haven't got time for you the show's more important the dancing of the future is more important to me I'm really sorry it's not going to work Craig is gobsmacked he did not expect this he knew that something wasn't right he could feel it but he was just gobsmacked anyway X was stood there uh, and Maddie said if you around in Phuket again, pop in and see me next time you visit. 
leant over, kissed him on the cheek, turned around and said goodbye through the door. X was there. And uh, Craig was like tears in his eyes. X could see this. And now she knows that they were sort of boyfriend, girlfriend. Um, and X actually comforted him and said, look, you're here for a few, you know, you, you're here for a few weeks, and he told her, and he's like, nodded, she said, I finish tonight, um, 11 o'clock, let's meet for a drink, give me your phone number, I'll ring you, here's my number, and he sort of reluctantly, yeah, and they swap details, she said, go and get a drink, go, go and have a swim, go to the hotel, get some food, just Go and think about what's happened. Really brilliant English, lovely girl. And he's gutted. Off he goes. He goes back to the hotel, gets to his room and sort of sobs his heart out by the, you know. What, what, what can you say? He's uh, broken hearted. He uh, spends the day in his hotel. He does pull himself out, go and get food later. He's quite a strong guy, look what happened to him in particular with that girl and then the other guy. Oh, he's been through, been through uh, the ringer. He's found out that he loves lady boys, he had a girlfriend before. 11 o'clock, sure as anything, a couple of minutes past, X on the phone. Where are you, what are you doing, I'm coming to see you. And he says, I'm in so-and-so bar next to the hotel. Again, it was, it, was a, it was that second road, one road back from the beach. There's a row of shops. It's like a market, indoor market sort of place. And behind the road, there's a car wash. There's some hexagonal bars, beer bars. They're like open bars down both sides of the road. And he's on one of those, and he tells her. She says, oh, I'll be there in 15 minutes. Uh, she turns up quicker than 15 minutes on a bike little scooter, comes across, rubs his uh, hand on his back, uh, says I'm hungry, let's go and get some food. And she's quite, considering she's supposed to be a shy girl, she's quite forceful. Let's go and get some food. And he's like, okay. Pays his bar and uh, she fancies um, Thai food again as normal but says, do you want some Western food? And I'll get Thai food. And he's like, yeah, I think so. So they go on her bike, round to past Bangla Road and a couple of side streets. And there's some restaurants that do Farang food, Thai food, seafood, the lot. Go there. It's not too bad, it's about 150, 200 baht a meal. So it's pretty average for Phuket. They sit down, have a meal. And next to ask him then, you know, so you were, boyfriend and girlfriend what happened how did you find yourself liking lady boys at the full and he spilled the beans they sat there for a good hour and he spilled the beans that he'd had a girlfriend this has been accidental then he tried another lady boy then he's come back to her um, and he just said it was it was just different and special and but he's still attracted by women now X said that yeah carry on drinking while you're eating and um, she had a couple of drinks and he was quite he was merry by this time I think and had another drink finished the food paid the bill uh, and he's sort of must be 11 30 12 o'clock X gets him on the back of the bike back to the hotel and he was he's a little bit merry Gets to the hotel, walks in, it's like a little reception at the front. Guy on the desk throws his key at him. And A, sorry, X, pushes him up the stairs to his room. Next morning, Craig wakes up, a bit worse for wear. And, uh, doesn't remember too much about the night before. Anyway, 
goes to get up, turns around, and there's X. And he's like shocked. Well, suddenly finds a, a woman next to him. And the man instincts in him, he lifting the covers to see if X is dressed. No, nope, not dressed. It just it doesn't remember. Gets up, X wakes up, and he goes off to the shower and uh, X joins him and starts well, let's just say they have an aerobic session. X is all over him and X tells him that she hadn't been with a foreigner for like maybe six years or something and that she found Craig rather attractive and his story and it was just the right time for her to have a bit of a fling. Craig was sort of after this aerobics in the showers he was like quite a nice feeling. Um, there you go what can you say. They get dressed, breakfast, wander off, spend the day together till X has got to go to work and then this sort of twisted part of Craig, he, he wants a bit of revenge on on Maddie, or he may, wants to make her a bit jealous. He goes up to the show uh, about five o'clock, six o'clock, back door, asking if X is there, not Maddie. The guy thinks he comes to see Maddie. Got yet? Yeah. X comes out because she's wandering around all the time. She's sort of got a free pass. She comes out, throws her arms around him, gives him a hug and a kiss, and he's like, "Oh, this is all right." No Maddie around, and. Uh, X, I can't get you in, she said, because I haven't got the privileges. But um, I can definitely get you in the show. And then wait in the show and I'll see you at the front after. So it's like, okay. And she gets him into the show, watches the show. Afterwards, it's a photo session, so he comes out. And there's Maddie doing hair touch ups and stuff. And she just looks at him, bewildered that he's there. And then X comes across, throws her, it's the perfect, you know, comes across, throws her arms around him, gives him a kiss, and Maddie's watching. And then Maddie's like, hmm, puffed. And just carries on with the work. So there it is, guys. Uh, Maddie, new partner, living with a new lady boy. Craig, temporarily. He's got this new girlfriend X, who's all over him. He's three days into his three or four days into his five week holiday in Bukka. Twists and turns, twists and turns. Very few happy ever after love stories, isn't there? There's always a twist at the end. Anyway, let's leave masquerade there and move on to the next love story. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, <laughs> maybe you've had similar experiences. Usual, put the comments below and let me know and let the community know. It'd be great to hear your ladyboy stories. And maybe you've uh, met Maddie at the show. Is she a dancer now? I don't know. Don't know. Anyway, take care. Have a good day, week, weekend, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Oh, 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 oh,